Hi guys and welcome to this brand new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Xbox One multiplayer gameplay. Um, this week's topic, this today's topic is Lizard Squad. Hence the reason guys, everyone knows you mentioned Lizard Squad. Everyone knows who they are, what they've done. Of course they do. Every, all gamers do. If you're not a gamer, maybe you might not. But, of course, if you're not a gamer, it's nice that you're actually watching my video. Um, but as you guys know, a lot of them, because of what they've done, the PSN and the Xbox Live DDoS in the tat, that they took it down for quite a while. But guys, they are slowly and surely being arrested. Even GDK Geordie, who says his... R.I.U. which is resting in 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 undoxable which basically you can't find out where he lives you can't find his IP address or anything like that and what's happened the police have been working with the FBI and the FBI gladly have basically doxed them because they found they found his address phone number, contact details, everything, and he's actually, I think, right now, he's in custody, he's either in custody or he's been let go, because he's been questions about it, but they, they have actually officially said that he, what, he is arrested, so, either way, Lizard Squad's going down, even though right now, they actually are still making legitimate money every day, from running their Lizard Stressor server, which is basically a server that you rent bandwidth off, which range from six dollars to a hundred dollars a month, um, where you can do DDoS attacks from. And personally, I think it should be illegal because it's not something that you should actually have access to per in my personal opinion where you can actually rent a server that's already configured to do ddos it and i think there are rumors going around that it actually is the same servers i reckon that they use to ddos um psn and xbox one xbox live basically the whole of it live um even though vast majority of the time I think it was only X360 that went down, I don't know, but either way it went down. But pers my own opinion is it should be took down, their servers should be cut off. But I know when they've actually said that it's running at full capacity, it can't actually have access. If someone actually controlled the whole server, it would have access to a hundred gigabytes of bandwidth which any server in the world it would kill it it would fry it because it actually need i think they did fry the P the playstation network um servers so in that front it was uh i just I, I, i'm just gobsmacked that they're actually making legitimate money off the back end of something so major that's illegal and they're basically selling the service to be able to do it but of course they have actually said that you can't actually one person can't do it now they won't be able to have the the, the right the big enough amount of bandwidth um, to actually do a DDoS attack with their new stress service if you paid one if you just even if you paid a hundred dollars a month for it you still wouldn't have enough bandwidth in actual fact this this is what lizard squad are saying to actually do a ddos and take down the psn or xbox live service you can't do that they said you can't and the thing is a lot of people and of course i've only heard this from keenstar phase keenstar um, he actually asked the question if there was two people would they be able to do it or if they banded together and they were like 
but you only allow one, one account per person. But in actual fact, he never actually answered the question, which was if more than one per, say two or three or four people actually got together and rented part of the server, they could easily, in my mind, and everyone else's mind that understands systems, they could easily DDoS Microsoft and Xbox Live and all the shebang. And, yeah, they could basically take them all offline and you wouldn't have it. So, personally, guys, I think that this Lizard stressor server should really be took down because it's funding the lizard squad and everyone you don't personally want to be funding them do you unless i don't know because it's a bit strange because i know a lot of the time you got people that legitimately use ddos attacks legitimately like banks do to actually do simulations of how, how when we get a DDoS, we've got that it's basically DDoS detection practice. So their security and analysts can actually think, oh, we've got to practice. So they know, oh yeah, this is coming in. We can get rid of this this way and all that malarkey. But I don't understand how they can get away with actually making money off doing this. And it's just crazy because I just don't understand how they do this because it's mental but anyway guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it ciao for now Hello, dudes in there where is it i know guys as you guys have heard you got that one plus as well guys that microsoft brought minecraft months